Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Outback Travel Australia. We're testing the new Discovery Sport. It's a little confusing being called a Discovery because it's really the replacement for the Freelander 2. So I guess Land Rover's building on the very successful Discovery name just like they did a Range Rover Sport version of the bigger Range Rover. This is a smaller vehicle than the Discovery 4. It does have a seven seat option, but it would be pretty squeezy in the back. And with that option, you only get a space saver spare. This is a five seat version with a full size spare wheel provided. The test vehicle is fitted with a 9-speed automatic transmission which is a delight to operate and it can be manually overridden with steering column paddle shifts. Ride and handling are very good although severe corrugations will upset the firm suspension. The Discovery Sport has a limited terrain response system from normal through to gravel and slippery icy roads to rock ruts and sand and it works quite well. For this damp dirt road we've chosen the grass gravel snow terrain mode and this increases accelerator travel for the same amount of response which lessens the chance of spinning a wheel. The suspension has much more travel than most soft rotors, giving the Discovery Sport a fair edge. Unlike most of its competitors, Land Rover actually tests the Discovery Sport in off-road conditions. The Discovery Sport may look very road oriented but in typical Land Rover fashion it's quite capable off-road as well like its Freelander 2 predecessor it's one of the best soft roaders in the market when it comes to trail driving this climb has defeated some vehicles with low range gearing and it's wet today, I'm very impressed. The Discovery Sports rock climbing ability is very good, but the hill descent control doesn't reduce speed enough in this very steep stuff. I think the Discovery Sport is a true successor to the Freelander 2. It's lost nothing in off-road ability, despite having more creature comforts and much better styling. Everyone has commented on how stylish this vehicle is and they love the gloss black wheels. However, this is not the spec you would pick if you were going to do some bush work because they're 19 inch wheels and low profile tyres that are strictly passenger car duty. There is a 17 inch wheel option with a 235 tyre and that would be a much better choice for this rocky terrain. Second row seat space is vast, there's ample leg room. There are two ISOFIX kids seats. and a centre armrest with cup holders. The Discovery Sport has a generous cargo area and there's a power point for a fridge. The nav system is worth using. It's got a lot of bush trails on it 
However, uh, the highway mapping is a bit old. There are some intersections that are two years old that it didn't seem to have in it. So Land Rover needs to update that. There are two diesel engine options, both four cylinder. This one is the 140 kilowatt and 420 newton meter option and the other engine is 110 kilowatts and 400 newton meters. Both engines have got plenty of grunt and the vehicle can tow 2.2 tons with an automatic transmission. There's not much that's bush repairable under here. This vehicle is designed to be city based and do occasional forays into the bush. Uh, you wouldn't want to be trying to do anything major in the scrub in this engine bay. The Land Rover Discovery Sport is an excellent SUV with much more capability than most of its competitors. The pricing sits between around 55,000 and 75,000 depending on what spec you want and what options you choose. A beautiful machine.